Okay, boat motor won't turn over. Something's bad. I'm gonna check my battery first off. Okay, looks good. I got almost 13 volts on it. Checking at the end of the terminals. Looks good. Everything's good here. Pull this engine cover off. Let's see what I have here. Maybe it's my neutral switch for the uh, transmission. Make sure it's not in forward and reverse. Wiggle it around a little bit. Make sure I'm in the neutral position. Still nothing. Starter's not moving a bit. Now let's take off over here. See, here's my starter switch. The back of the wires. I got a red and a yellow one. Check them out. See if they're, one of them's broke. Follow it right up to the starter solenoid. My starter solenoid. Everything looks good here. No corrosion. Everything's secure. Let me get out my meter and see if I have voltage up here. So I come up here. There's my hot wire. And I can see my voltmeter here. I've got 13 volts. So I've got a good connection here. Let me read the other side. This here should read through my starter to ground. So from there, you know we don't have any voltage on there. We double checked, so we're going to put it in the ohms position. Okay, and look at there. I'm reading open through my starter to the battery ground. But I'm going to come over here and twist the wires on my battery post, wiggle them around, see if I get anything. I can see I'm trying to get a reading. It's trying to, there you go, we got 0.8. Okay, take the connector off my battery terminal. Going to clean it up with this little steel brush. Get off all that corrosion. Hopefully this is going to be my problem. This is the kind of problem that can drive you nuts. Just a little bit of corrosion on that terminal will keep you stranded at sea, believe it or not. Okay, let's put it all back together. See what happens. Looks like we got a good fix. Thanks for watching.